Cyber-physical systems are things that interact with the real world, but are internet or computer connected. This could be things like an internet connected thermostat or door locks in your home that you open with your cell phone. It could be things like a lamp that are controlled through the internet on a schedule. All of those are examples of the internet of things, but they're not operational technology. Operational technology is gonna be larger things like in the energy sector, electricity, transmission, and distribution. In the transportation sector, things like trains, subways, and traffic lights in a city. In manufacturing, it can be the conveyor belts or robots on the plant floor. Things in the military, parts of smart buildings, like the HVAC, the physical security door locks. All of those are things that might be internet connected, controlled through computers, but result in real world impacts. Over the past decade, there have been a number of newsworthy cyber attacks against OT systems. Stuxnet was really the precedent, but in 2015, we saw an attack against the Ukrainian electric grid that resulted in a power outage for 230,000 people. 2016, we saw Indestroyer again cause a power outage for people in the Ukraine when they attacked a transformer substation. We've seen Triton that was an attack against a petrochemical plant. It's noteworthy because it was the first that probably intentionally tried to cause loss of life. Earlier this year, we saw an attack against a water plant in Florida where someone tried to change the chemical mixture in the town's water supply. When we talk about cyber attacks against OT systems, we generally classify the impacts into three categories. Loss of view, which means the system continues to function, but we can no longer see what it's doing. Loss of control, which means the system continues to function, but maybe not in the way we intended and we can't make it do something different. Loss of safety is the worst. Loss of safety means we can no longer trust it not to harm or kill someone. Examples of this would be in Triton, when they could no longer trust the system not to explode at the petrochemical plant. Another example would be when a tree touches an electrical line. We expect the electricity to turn off, but in a loss of safety situation, the tree and the ground around it could remain electrified. So what are we doing? We're helping our clients secure their OT systems in a number of ways. We're helping them use OT assessments to understand their current state. Many of these are 10 to 20 year old systems and the OT assessments help them understand the current risk and the impacts of doing IT-OT integration. We're helping them develop instant response plans, knowing what to do when an attack occurs, who to contact and how to contain it to lessen the impact. We're helping them develop detection and analysis processes, OT-focused monitoring, specifically to detect abnormalities against their networks when systems aren't working right and cyber intrusions. We're helping them develop hunt strategies, so when an attacker has been undetected on the network for a while, they can find them and evict them from the network. Through all of these, our goal is to ensure that cyber attacks against OT systems will not result in real-world impacts.